Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another episode of Vibe with Vibe. In today's video, I'm going to take you to the beautiful city of Kent, which is famous for its medieval architecture. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. We did a research on the internet about the things that you must do or the places that you must visit in Kent, and we were lucky enough that we got to cover all of that. And I really hope and wish that you also get, you guys also get an opportunity to visit this beautiful town. We first had to take a train from Brussels and then a tram to reach to our destination. It was about one and a half hour journey. We started by walking across the streets to get familiarized with the ways. And the first thing that caught our attention was a street fair or a street market. There were the things that you would actually find in a street market, but we didn't find anything different or things like we should be buying them but the architecture just caught us so much that we were so stunned and astonished we were just literally standing there and enjoying the view This particular spot was absolutely amazing and surreal. We really enjoyed staying at this place. After which we went for a boat ride and you have a boat guide who explains about the history of the architecture on both sides of the river bank. It was a 40 minute boat ride. It was therapeutical with the sound of moving water, ducks, wind, along with our boat guide explaining the history. And the famous tourist attraction in Ghent is this beautiful Gravenstein castle or the castle of the counts. This was used as a watchtower and not a defense system and that is why you find this in center of the city as explained by our tour guide. This was constructed back in 12th century and after the counts moved from this castle, this was used in as a cotton factory, a mint in different centuries. This is another tourist attraction which is the three towers which denotes the entry to the city of Kent. The canal also ends here. You can actually see the dead end. Our boat guide was explaining that he is only allowed to use the mic on one bay of the canal because the locals here have protested over the noise pollution caused by it. The yellow building that you see is one of the oldest architecture here in this bank and it goes back to 13th century. After our boat ride, we went to visit a church.
After our church visit, we are heading to a watchtower or a clock tower. The steps were very narrow and you have to pay 9 euros and it was worth spending that money. You get to see the panoramic view of the beautiful city of Ghent. Another attraction in Ghent is the famous Graffiti Street. You get to walk about for 500 meters or so. After that, we were searching for this famous traditional Ghent delicacy, which is called as Cuba Dance. We got 10 pieces for 5 euros, which were assorted. Traditionally, the Cuba Dance were made from raspberry fruit, but you get in different fruity flavors now. It was really tasty. It tastes like jellies. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.